Welcome to another installment of Luna Basics. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how to use Luna's tape extensions, including how to configure each tape machine and how to save and recall machine configurations. Luna's tape extensions let you add the authentic sound of analog tape to your tracks and mixes right from Luna's channel strips and without having to load plugins or use DSP. Tape extensions can easily be applied across a whole session to glue mixes together or used creatively as an effect on individual tracks to tame sharp transients and add presence with characteristic harmonic saturation. Multi-track tape extensions such as Oxide and Studer A800 can be loaded onto any audio or instrument track via the tape slot in the track's channel strip. Just click on a tape slot and select one of the tape machines to load it onto that track. You can also hold down the Option key while clicking any tape slot to apply the same tape machine configuration to all tracks in the session, excluding buses. Master tape extensions such as Ampex ATR-102 can be loaded from the master tape slot on any bus. However, they will not show up when clicking the tape slot on any individual track and vice versa. Tape extensions are processed natively by your host computer, not by your UAD DSP, so you're free to run as many instances as your computer can handle without worrying about running out of DSP for other UAD plugins. Note that tape extension processing is only applied during playback, so you won't hear the tape sound or see the tape meters move when monitoring input signals. Once a multi-track tape extension has been loaded on one or more tracks, machine level settings can be changed by clicking the arrow at the right of the tape deck slot that's in use. Any changes made here are applied to all tracks that use this machine configuration. For example, since I loaded the Oxide configuration in slot A to all my tracks, any adjustments that I make to the Oxide in slot A affects all tracks as well. This replicates the analog workflow of recording multiple tracks to the same multi-track tape machine, where any changes made to the machine, such as tape speed, affect all tracks in the same way. The Oxide tape extension is entirely preset driven, so settings for this machine are changed by loading one of the available presets. In addition to the included factory presets, user presets created via the Oxide UED2 plugin can also be used. So if you own the Oxide UED2 plugin, you can create custom presets for the tape extension by using the plugin to configure and save settings. The Studer extension can be configured in the same way, however it features a number of settings that can be adjusted manually in addition to the ability to load settings via factory and user presets. To access all of these settings, click the arrow to the right of the extension in one of your tape deck slots, then click the open button to expose the settings panel. This panel can also be opened by hovering over the name of the extension in one of your tape slots and clicking the window icon. Up to four machine configurations can be set up in the tape deck slots for easy recall within the session. New configurations can be added by clicking the arrow to the right of an empty slot and selecting a tape extension from the machine menu. For example, I can set up a second studer in slot C with different settings from the one that I already have set up in slot B, giving me another sonic flavor that I can easily apply to other tracks in the session. Note that tape deck configurations are saved with a session file and do not carry over to new sessions. After a tape machine has been loaded on a track, additional controls for the tape machine appear in the track's tape slot and can be used to adjust track-by-track -track settings. All multi-track tape extensions feature a saturation knob that lets you control the amount of tape saturation applied to each track individually, as well as a bypass control that lets you disable the tape extension on that track. The saturation knob on each individual track is a powerful control as it lets you set the amount of tape saturation on the track without needing to worry about level matching. For example, when using a normal tape plugin, you would typically increase the amount of saturation by increasing the input gain. However, this would also increase the overall volume of the track, so you would then need to lower the output gain to match the track to its original level using your ears or the track meter. The saturation control for Luna's multi-track tape extensions simplifies this process with reciprocal gain, which adjusts both the input and output gain at the same time. Raising the saturation knob simultaneously raises the input gain and lowers the output gain to increase saturation while maintaining the same level, and lowering the saturation knob has the opposite effect. Note that since adding saturation rounds off transients and other loud signals by clipping the input of the tape machine, you may notice a slight drop in volume when using higher saturation settings, especially when working with audio that has a lot of sharp transients like drums. The Studer extension also features per-track EQ controls that can be used to apply separate EQ settings to individual tracks. 
Note that these track level EQ controls are initially set via the machine level EQ controls, and then they can be dialed in individually from each track. If you already have separate EQ settings for a track, avoid adjusting the machine level EQ controls as that will overwrite any track level settings. For master tape extensions such as Ampex, hover over the name of the extension in the master tape slot and click the window icon to open the machine controls in the focus browser. Unlike multi-track tape extensions, each instance of a master tape extension has its own settings and no settings are shared between buses. Master tape extensions can be set as pre-fader or post-fader using the buttons in the focus browser. By hovering over the name of the extension in the master tape slot, clicking the three dots to the right and selecting the option from the menu, or by clicking on pre in the bottom left corner of the meter. Setting the extension to pre-fader also places it before any plugins loaded on the track and vice versa. By default, master tape extensions loaded on buses are set to post-fader and master tape extensions loaded on your session's main track are set to pre-fader, so a limiter or other processing can be placed afterwards. That does it for this video. Subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel if you haven't already, and be sure to check out the other Luna Basics videos to learn more about the Luna recording system.